Capri, you know, so I think I have an idea who you are. I think I have an idea who you are. You know. Maybe I pick up late or maybe I'm wrong, but I think I have an idea who you are. But if you are the person that I think you are, big up yourself. Big up yourself. Big up your damn self. Big up yourself. Oh! And by the way, Capri, Capri, you see that I was right? You see that I was correct? I just saw where Will Smith actually um, took himself off the, the academy um, committee or, or whatever they had. He disqualified himself and let's move on. Let's all be good people. Let us all stand for truth and rights and equality and justice and love each other. And all of me is a big song and it's doing very well. And um, it's in the charts, I mean, some charts in Africa already. And Nigeria, you know, want Nigeria all over this, and want Ghana all over this, and want Uganda all over this, and want South Africa. Want it to be a big, big tune, want it to be a national tune. You understand me? I say, boss, me nah do no more song. If that song ain't a boss, me nah sing no more. Me written, listen me, I promise you. If that song ain't a boss, me I done with music. Me I go straight in a real, real estate. I go straight in a construction. If that song is a bus, trust me. If this is a bus, I go in a real I don't need music if this is a bus. That song is too sweet, man. I me do it, I me listen me. It's not many songs I do where I enjoy, you know. It's not all of my songs that I like, you know. Let me tell you my favorite songs that I like. I like, do you know? Come along way, what a sweet love story. Remember the days when you used to adore me. I love you know the time you gave. Where me I go get that from now, baby? Me love that song there. That's one of my, one of my favorite. Me not like heads I. Mm. Me not like take with yourself. Um. Me say he hate singing heads I. <laughs> me say he hate sing it. Me like Nike here. Perp 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 ching 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 ching. That shit was sick. Like. Heads I like me say he'd sing it. But Nike here, one more half see you and you know the air. You never get a slam yet for your Nike. You just have that something there. You know which song I like when never bust big? One of my favorite songs when never bust big was my favorite favorite song. I darling dear sweetie by pineapple. You know me look so far or you're so miserable. If me didn't live near you, would I comfortable? You know me dive and dead, but the magani table, me cheap he said he well comfortable. So stand up and just turn your girl and give me this something. <laughs> that is my favorite shit. You get that? It no boss big, but it it go on good. Yeah, that was like it's not all of my song that me like. Me like I am blessed. Uh, me like broke it down. Me not like at work. Yeah. Um, but of course I might sing them so my baby them. But this song, trust me, all the time you hear artists say, Oh, this one is my favorite one and honestly people isn't like my favorite favorite Vega song this. I think it's gonna be actually be my favorite Vega, Vega song. You know my song my love? My song with Jovi Rockwell. The old town talking about you and your new girl. You're flying high now in your single world. That you wanna me love. But you're gonna need me. That me love. Yeah. You see what I say? Yeah. But this song, like hands down, this up this this heading to be me say this no boss me top singing. Hey yo, listen man. Mwa suck out my girl tongue to this. Mwa hold my girl and suck out that. Yo, mwa do crazy thing. I want to do crazy things. Trust me. That song is just too sexy. That song is too sexy. I swear. It come like flex. Time to have sex. Come at them vibe there. It come like. It come like. Um, I wanna sex you up. And of course you know. The, 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 it's, it's no secret that it was inspired. You know. It was an inspiration from Essence. With Whiskey and. 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 and, and what's her name? And the, the sister that sing on Whiskey Chew. Of course, because you know I'm a favorite song that Whiskey Whiskey and um What's her name again? What's her name again? Thames. Whiskey and Thames. You know it's no secret. But them say piracy is a great form of flattery. So um them, the vloggers them comparing it 
but I'm glad for the com me appreciate the comparison. And I feel um I feel like yo um African artists been listening to dancehall artists for years. Um you know, singing like dancehall artists, DJing like dancehall artists. And now that Afro music is really big, you know, it's good that we can actually, you know, emulate some of the things that the great African artists are doing like Burner Boy them and Whiskey them and Stone Boy them and them great, them just so great. Them selling out stadiums, them very great them, them are, like trust me, they're so they're they're huge. And of course Africa is a big continent, so but if we can, you know, transcend borders with Afro music and you know Jamaican artists start doing Afro music. Because the Jamaican artists we still have the African sound. We still it's still in our DNA. You know hard to bring out. You understand? It's not hard to bring out um the Africanness the out of our DNA. That is the reason why I could sing an Afro tune and it not sound like it out of place compared to singing like a a, a R and B or a, a soul song. It it not sound out of place, it just sound like an African. You understand? Yeah. But with that said, transcending boundaries with music, there is something that came out um I saw it on the internet circulating and I wasn't gonna speak on it. But I think it's sitting on my soul I'm gonna speak on it. Zane. And it's not no disrespect to anybody. It's not it's just having a pers a different perspective from the people, the person we make a talk about. Yeah? Because I want to understand say, the level of respect we have for that person. I'm kinda of disappointed with the with with, 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 with with what unfolded. Yeah? I understand frustration in a, you know in, in when it comes down to our music. I understand that some people are die hearted fans of the music. But I'm disappointed when the way it it happens at times when or the way it go down when we speak on music. You understand? I'm going to give you I walk you through when I go reason about it in a quick, you know, like a quick half an hour maybe. So I see a video with Beanie Man and Boom Boom and Harry Hype. I think it was Uptown Mondays. Zane? I'm going watch the video and me basically I'm, I'm so disappointed in a, in a, the, the video in what I saw in the video for, m for many reasons like so many reasons why I'm disappointed yeah me disappointed say you know is is my artist actually in a, the video I speak on the issues them where he must speak on in other settings you know um, and the way the things all the things because you can't say some things in about how you say it is how you say it make it, it it really hurt people when you say it a certain way so we have to be very careful how we say things it is essential for us to because not no wrong for you criticize and not no wrong for you have a different you know outlook on things but you have to remember that people have feelings too you understand yeah our rest in peace or walk in peace you know you know bunny and of course tabby it's weird two diamonds two diamonds drop out in a one week you see me I say yeah I just saw it go a transition and the whole way I go, go through the transition there you know it's it you know I was looking at um you know bunny age bunny is 71 you know was is, is 71 died at 71 that means a lot of us here we, we soon reach 50 and when you check it out 20 years 20 years they're right around the corner you know so some of we we get in there, you know. We get in there you now, we're gonna transition, you know. And we're gonna transfer, you know. You understand? And we're gonna we're gonna leave that realm here. And it's 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 a perfect argument for what may, what may I say. And we may about to say. No. Oftentimes me say the elder artists them come forward and them speak on the younger artists them. You see? Are the elder people them in a dance hall. Like what they we see. Um the one trooper come forward and disrespect the youth them. And everybody took it and some people took it as Yemen had the right thing he must say, and Yemen had truth him attack, all of them things are very blah blah blah. Right? The youth them a mash up dance hall, the youth them now do good music, etc. etc. You see? And people have 
you know your own opinion from, from whatever. But we can talk to the youth them and we can talk about them without have to put them down. You know why that is important? Our journey did not just happen smoothly. We had our sheer struggles in our, you know, entrance in our music. You see? But what we did not have, we did not have the elders them publicly out there. Publicly like, not just like a one man or a two persons. We did not have the elders them like, the elders them like, you ride them and, Big youth them and stitchy them and Papa San them and you know ninja them. We didn't have them maybe because we never have social media, but we would have didn't know because we used to man used to go up on stage, so it's not like oh social media never did so man couldn't hear where a man I said man used to go up on stage. And them days and more people are go stage through, and if something was said then it carried more weight because here we go on now. We depended on certain sources or outlets to get information from. So when something happened and you write it, they wrote, they, they wrote they were, they were right up in the star. They wrote it in the star or in the Glean or in the Observer or in the X News that, that, that you know, traveled and, and crossed borders. So people were, at, of course, knew what was happening in the industry. But I cannot remember, and somebody can correct me if I'm correct. If me incorrect, excuse me. I cannot remember Papa San them, Lieutenant Stitchy them, Shaka Demos, Admiral Bailey them. Who were before Admiral Bailey them, the Tiger them, the Johnny P them, the Flower Gun them. Me can't remember hearing this level of you know? Anger. I call it anger. Towards us when we did a bus. When we did a coming at the industry. I think it's unfair towards the little youth. I think it is wrong. For us to call them music garbage as fellow entertainers. You the people them the fans them where listen to the music and you have a social media platform and so forth and you want to comment. Because it's so it go. You come to stage show when not singing good, when not DJ good, you run way off, you boo it. You are garbage, come off of the stage. We have to go back to the drawing board. So you the fans, you the consumers, you the people that are listening to the music coming to the stage show then. I can understand. Because you want the best, you see. But within our industry, them youth, yeah, them at the stage now, we were at that stage. Stitchy them were at that stage. Before Stitchy them was whosoever before Stitchy them. And so forth. You see? Remember the music I come from, you know. Skia and Rocksteady and whatever. So the music went through changes. The music evolved. So, of course, the Skia man, when reggae, you know, entered the, the, the arena, the Skia man would have feel like, yo, I wanna go with a something here. Wanna mash up Skia. But reggae came and Bob Marley came with reggae. So if the scam on them did a go out and I say, what that? Because I remember saying, you know, people did not call reggae Bugu Yaga music, you know. Remember they had to create a dance all to play reggae music because the rich people, them, the uptown people, them, I call the music Bugu Yaga music and worse, it was some dirty dreadlocks. We are praise Selassie I and, a, and, a big up and a glorify Selassie I. So it was not something where people embrace from certain sector in a Jamaica, you know. Even places like some places like Cayman and those places, Rastaman couldn't go to them places there. You see what I say? 
So just imagine if the scam on them, they join with the people them that were against reggae. Maybe we wouldn't have a Bob Marley, you know. You see what I say? Maybe we wouldn't have a Bob Marley, you know. And just check if when reggae change to more up tempo, we put on a rhythm, come and dance, I'll come. People that say Shabbat too slack. People that say Yellow Man too slack. But I never like artists. I never like the artists them I say it. So I say the artists them used to link up a studio and man and man link up and I saw me see it, I see them from post and I see them from stage show together and I saw me see this upset. Why may I say all of this now? We have to understand say, Evolution is essential. Or it must happen then. Evolution is a must people. You see what I say? They look at you, them they hear for them music different from how we are here music. We can't call what them are do garbage because we think say what we did do was the greatest thing. Because here we go on. If one of them you there was your son, and one of them sister in there that current now, the Jada them, Shensi of them, if one of them I did your son or your daughter, you went up on the internet and say, I hear that music them I do, garbage music them I do. Are you as an artist way? See them music as garbage music. You wouldn't have said that, you know. You'd have the glad say them do something with them life. You'd have the glad say at least them make an effort. You'd have the glad say at least them 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 do something where them not in a jail, them not in a prison, them not out there fire a gun. You as a parent, you'd have glad for say I'm a son that you know. Me sure say intense mother, feel good for see her son on TV. Me sure say Joshi mother. Feel good for no say you are son that on TV, our son that the, everybody are talking about. You see? Just like our, our mother did feel good. Just like our being a mother, our father, our family members did feel good. My mother did feel good. Shaba mother did feel good. Elephant my mother did feel good. You see what I say? Nobody could not tell my mother nothing about me. So our, our son turn star. Our son do something with him life. Him kind of foreign, you know. It's a, it's, a, it's a level of pride we come with it. Yeah, man. I, my son, people see her up on the road. Miss Lucy, you <laughs> see a boy up on TV and mash it up. She called me. You don't know who tell me so they see up on TV. She, you can hear the joy in her voice, Bridget. We have to allow the youth them. To enjoy where we did enjoy and our parents did enjoy and our family members them did enjoy. You see what I say? We don't even know if them capable of doing the dance hall where we did do. And if them capable of doing it, I think there's a better way to reach them. I think so we can teach them. The other day, the one trooper come and burn fire upon the youth them. Burn out the youth them, call the youth them name. Them can't do dub plate and change two line in it, because of course them dunce. But when him do an interview upon the fix and the maxim, if he had if he has ever reached out to one of them, him say no. Just listen to me just say again now. He said he has never reached out to one of them. None of them. He never reached out to none of the youth them yet. Because they're too high. You don't know, you're assuming. <laughs> assume, you assume, you know.
If the DJs them, if Boom Boom and Harry hype them, nah play, the little youth them, you know the dance. Them things are going up on the internet. Because most of them fans them are the same adolescent, adolescent youth them way, adolescent youth them way, um, way in them age group. The millennials them. Let me see Skilly Beng do a song. I don't remember what name. It sounds like him don't know what I do. But because he's a musicologist, he you know my own rights. I listen to the modern thing, I listen to the Asian thing, I listen to. I realize he's a, 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 a DJ or him a rap or whatever he's doing. Like the youth them down at Jacksonville. And them youth there. They make a 20, 30 thousand dollars a year time, 30 million dollars, excuse me, from just YouTube alone. Them look at youth there down at Jacksonville and them place there. And down at, you know, Tennessee and them place there where I rap. Or whatever they do. And I say, when the people really understand, say, is the flow there, he might bring to a film generation of dance hall fans. It sound weird to we. It sound like foolishness to we. So we can go out there and criticize it publicly and burn it up publicly as musicians, as artists too. You see? Because we now plan to put out no music. So what if we put out music and the little youth them start saying, what kind of fuck with that? Because we put out enough idiot song to you know. We put out song when it sound good too. So what if the little youth them start scrutinize our music where we are put out and say, what can I all want something that that sounds boring? We just say, you, the youth them are this way, the youth them are this, the elders them, the youth them are violate. A man that say, I lick him for get pan him out, and for this man we put so much years in our music. So Uncle, we alone have feelings and them not have feelings. We cannot do that. We can't do that. If you love 90s dancehall, 80s dancehall, just appreciate it like when you hear a soul song, you appreciate the soul song. When you hear Anita Baker, when you hear Regina Bell, when you hear Peebo Bryce and them, you don't bite up yourself and say, Oh, come somebody now make soul music again and I pay you that song they might do on here. You know, I say that. You just enjoy the soul music because you are your era that. You grew up on that. And you know, hear it in a such a long time, sometimes when you hear it back, you say, Yo, the music here feels sweet. Do that with dance hall to no man. Do that with reggae music to brethren. We not hear the type of music where Anita Baker used to sing and make again. But it makes we appreciate Anita Baker music more. We not hear the type of Regina Bell songs and make again. But it make we appreciate the Regina Bell them more. We know your baby face type of music I make again. Unless a Bruno Mars give you a little one thing or a little two song. You see? But them put it in a you know a different category. Because it can't fit in a lot of people's playlists because it can't mix with the modern things then. It sounds good. Appreciate Reggae music and dancehall music from Shabba Rankin and the Spraga them and the General Degree them. We have so we have so much music people. You just want new dancehall. You just want something new. You just want this. You just want the man. You just want the youth them to sound like the 90s and sound back like the 80s. Is a reason why it named 90s. Is a reason why it named 80s. It was that time. You see me I say? It's a new era now. We never have no phone where we can get the music right away. We never have no computer where we could get the music right away. That era, they just cherish that era they, when you used to go get a cassette. When you used to go to the record store. Beanie man no need another song. At that moment, tell the king, you know. The king don't need another song. 
The king no need for the uptown Mondays I tell a man say me the gear one song for play. And you are the king. You no need another song. You sang them timeless king. Them like you with your, your son them. Them now hear it like how you did hear it, bro. Boom boom them and Harry hype them have to play them. Because here why boom boom and Harry hype have to play them.